Hey, hey, Tony Gasser here. Just popping in. I'm in my mobile office today, so forgive me at my son's soccer practice. Got two practices tonight. But a young lady asked me in the comments earlier when I did the video, the number one reason men leave women. She said, Tony, can you do a video answering the number one reason a man lets a woman leave? And this is always funny to me because sometimes women can be very specific and very particular about the knowledge that you all want to receive. And so I hadn't even thought about that. But there are those times where a man will leave a woman. And then there's times where the man will sabotage the relationship and the woman leaves and he lets you go. Like he doesn't chase you. He doesn't beg you. He just lets you go. And I want you to understand this. And hopefully I could be done in 15 minutes because we got a parent meeting in 25 minutes. Um, the number, number one reason, like I would say the biggest reason a man lets a woman leave. And, and let's not get caught up in semantics because I know it'll be people. What do you mean? Let. He didn't let me do anything. That's the problem with society today. You think a man has the right to let a woman. A woman can leave if she wants to leave. He did not let her leave. Let's not get caught up in semantics. What let you leave means he did not chase you. Okay, let that, let that be understood. Y'all could tell how I have to over explain things that 95% of my audience is, is women. And so I'm always, I'm like, listen, I'm married 14 years. I don't argue with my wife. We don't have arguments. I don't want to come online while I'm trying to help people and have to argue in the comments with a random woman when I don't even have to argue with the woman I live with 24 hours a day. Okay, understand that. All right, let's get out of the way. So listen where I'm coming from. The number one biggest reason a man lets a woman leave is his ego. It's his ego. He can actually do something stupid, upset you, and you say, I'm fed up, I'm tired, I'm done. And you say, we're done, we need to take a break, or this is it, that was the straw that broke the camel's back and I'm going my separate way. He could be screaming on the inside and wanting more than anything for you to stay and for you to give him another chance, but he has so much ego. His ego is so big because he's been that guy. He's been the guy where men want to be him and women want to be with him, and he is just, he cannot make himself bow down, kneel down, ask for forgiveness, apologize, admit to his faults. His ego is so big, which comes from a place of weakness that he says, okay, fine. And he, you could walk out the door and he literally could fall on the ground and boohoo cry. He could not sleep a full night for the next week. He could eat like a half a meal a day for the next week and he will not call you he will not text you he will create a fake page and he will stalk you on instagram stalk you on facebook he will rent a car he will rent a car go get the windows tinted for 160 dollars and he will hide out near your home follow you to work watch you in there follow you home for the next three to five days his stomach is hurting his head is hurting and he is stressed out but the male ego will not let him say i am sorry please forgive me that was the stupidest thing i could have ever done i love you i want to be with you please give me another chance the male ego will not let him do it 
and he will sit and he will move on with his life reluctantly painfully he will move on with his life but guess what the question is being asked right now in your mind well does that mean i should go back to him and tell him that hey we need to work on this no you already knew i was gonna say no no you should not and the reason why you shouldn't is because <sighs> here's the thing the reason why you shouldn't is because a man with an ego that big y'all gotta forgive me i'm thinking of business and marketing and a campaign with facebook ads that i'm getting ready to do and my mind just went all the way there i just played out the whole commercial in my head while i'm talking to you so you gotta forgive me i'm, I'm two places at one time Here's the thing, a man with an ego that big, if you come back crawling on the ground, which you're not literally crawling, you literally can call him, hello, this is you know who, and I'm calling you to tell you that I've taken some time, I've thought about it, and I think we need to try this once more. We've put in a lot of work, we've come a long ways, I know you made a stupid decision, but I think that it would be worth if we talk and we see if it makes sense for us to give this another shot. There are countless women who have done that. That is the worst thing you could do. That is the worst thing you could do in the world. The worst thing. Because his ego is so big, he now says, got her. She's weak for me she's spineless she doesn't know who she is she doesn't know her worth i can run her control her and ruin her the rest of her life Boop! i got her i own her that's why you should never do that now listen the number two reason that a man lets you leave is because he knows he knows that he can get you back at any time. And this is so true. This is so true. This is crazy. Do you hear me? This is so true. This is crazy. Because you can sit there and you can you can move on with your life. But see, the thing about men is men really are warriors. Men really are hunters men really are gatherers men really are better innocent when i don't want to say the word on you know, I don't know. men p-r-e-y and that's from a hunting nature you got to learn when you a hunter you got to know how to position you got to know how to stalk you got to know how to you know stalk not stalk you got to know how to do these things now so that you could catch your game that you're going after. So that is in a man's mind innately. You see how these men in the army are formulating these plans to attack how we got them people over there that we was trying to get. I don't want to say names because stuff get, you know, all kind of looped up on here. But you see what I mean? So it's little things that women do that let us know as men that you really ain't about that life that you really don't have a backbone it's little things you do that let a man knows you ain't got it you ain't got it you ain't fresh as on me else and so listen this the thing when and i i make a example my wife like the most she's ever called me in a row like when i'm out and about or she's out and about, the most she's ever called me is two times. Two times. She called me, she called me again. She would not call after that. I do not know why. I think one time in our 14 year marriage, she called me three times. I think one time. And I was so shocked. I was like, wow, she called me three times. Because sometimes I'm looking at the phone when she calling me, but I'm in the middle of a coaching session 
or I'm in the middle of a really deep something, you know, situation, or I'm somewhere where I can't talk and she calling me. Now, a lot of times when I, if I go get that call, what I've learned, it's only been once or twice that it was like an emergency, but she just will not call more than three times. So what that let me know, this woman is emotionally intelligent. Because think about this, if somebody's phone is on silent and you're blowing them up, you calling four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times is not making a difference because their phone is on silent. If somebody is ignoring you, you calling them three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, it's not making a difference. All it's showing is that you are deranged and that you are weak. That's all it's showing, that you lack emotional intelligence. The only way it doesn't show that is if when he answers or responds to you, you actually was in an emergency situation. That's the, But how often do you have an emergency situation? Typically, you call him because you start to panic. You get anxiety. You work like, what is he doing? He better not be with another woman. Where is he at? Why he not answer the phone? And you can call and call and call. It's little stuff like that. That's just one little example. It's little stuff like that. It's, it's another thing my wife would always do. When I would get in my feelings and I would get me a little attitude for no real reason, she would ignore me. Whereas other women would be like, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting like that? Why? What is wrong? I know you and you're upset and we need to talk about this. Look, I hate when you're upset. Why are you mad? What is what is wrong? I hate I hate this. Why do you do this to me? Communicate. C O M M U N A K A T. Jeez. And so now he is like he's really shocked and he's trying to hold it in like it's normal. So he's like Nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with me. Hey, just calm down, just chill. Nothing wrong with me. Jeez, nothing wrong. Can I just be quiet for a second? But really, on the inside, if he show his feelings, he'll be like, "Oh my goodness, wow! Oh my goodness, Ooh, she have a whoa! This is getting a rise out of her. Ooh, I love this boy. She getting a rise. Oh, I got all kind of control over her. Really, that's how he feels. That's another thing. See, that's why I wrote the book A Woman's Influence because I'm I'm living with Queen Esther." I'm living with the most influential woman in America right now. And so this woman here built different. And I got to see that. And see, you understand the level of game that I be giving on these videos? It take a woman like that to be with me. Because I understand the mindset on another level. So if I'm with a weak woman, if I'm with a woman without a spine, if I'm with a woman who don't know who she is... That's going to bring out the worst in me. I'm not going to be able to be my best. I need a woman that's going to check me, hold me accountable. Boom, from day one. Especially because I got with her when I was 21 years old. And so that's what held me accountable and it got me to it got me to grow. So see, that's why a man will let you leave. Because he know you coming back. He knows you're the one that's going to break down in a week or two and be calling him, hey, we need to talk. He or he knows he can come back six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, and you'll still be single. You'll still be sitting there. You'll still be thinking about him and he could just pop right back in. You'll drop everything you're doing and you'll take him back in a heartbeat. And I've heard so many women tell me, Tony, I will take him back in a heartbeat. I love him so much. If he came back, Tony, I can't even lie to you. I will take him back so fast. Guess what? You just told me that, but he already know it. He already know it, and that's why he run in and out your life. The third reason that he will let you leave is because it's actually over. That is the least of the reasons. That happens the least. A man really doesn't want his relationship to end with the woman breaking up with him. That is the last way a man wants to lose a woman because that hurts his feelings. It hurts his ego. It's a slap in the face. It's spitting in his face. He feels like trash. He feels like a failure. That is the last and the least of the reasons that a man will let you leave is because he knows it's over. He's not a real man. And he wasn't man enough to tell you that, hey, this isn't going to work. We're not meant to be. So I'm going to let you go. 
Instead, he sabotaged the relationship by letting you find messages in his phone to other women, cheating, getting messy with it so that another woman calls your phone or another woman calls his phone while he's with you, you know, yelling at you, cursing you out, putting hands on you. He, he sabotaged the relationship so that you will say, I'm done. This is over. And he lets you go because it was done, but he was too weak to break up with you. Because when you break up with somebody, you feel you don't know if you did the wrong thing. So all the pressure is on the person who walks away. Whereas the person who gets walked away from, they're like, well, this happened to me. This is the hand I was dealt. So I have to just deal with it. And our mind has more resolve when we are dealing with something life handed to us versus a decision we made. And so that's why he lets he sabotages and lets you walk away because now it's a mind trick to say, hey, it's on you. You left me. You walked away. You gave up on us. So when you get weak and you want to talk, he like, you gave up on us. This your fault. We will still be together, but you walked out. So stay gone now. No, you left. You ditched me. I met a new woman now. But it was over the whole time and he pushed you away and he knew it. So look, those are the three reasons a man lets you leave. Those are the three reasons. And of course, it's going. it may be some little subcategories under those three reasons. But when you really look at it, it's, it's typically going to be a subcategory of one of those three reasons. Hey, this is Tony Gaskins. God bless you. We'll talk soon.